Hi everybody, welcome back. It's February 12th, 2023. It's Super Bowl day and here I am making videos. Well, I, I wasn't too wrapped up in Super Bowl this year, although I'm, I am looking forward to it. Uh, once again, we're back on the moon and we're at the South Pole again. And uh, we've got uh, something a little bit different to look at today. You know, uh, a while back, my wife said, you know, everything looks the same. And I have to admit, it does. I mean, it's it's all about repetition uh, on the moon. This is just one tiny area of one small crater. Uh, and, and I've only shown you just a small fraction of this area. And whoever would have thought that we would ever get tired of looking at structures on the moon. <laughs> that doesn't even seem possible, does it? I mean, at one point, you know, you're, you're, you, you hear about a picture and you see that one picture and there's something there and that's really cool. And then all of a sudden there's so much of it, it's just, uh, just another day. Uh, it's just more of the same. But in this picture we have rows and rows of, I, I can only describe them as small uh, skyscrapers. And they're on each side of these bars. Now we've talked about bars before, but these bars are a little bit different. But these, these little skyscrapers are on usually on each side of the bar and sometimes uh, in the middle in between the bars as well. And they just line them up. Now we haven't seen this before. Finally, we find something a little bit different. And there are literally thousands and thousands and thousands of them in, uh, in these pictures. Just in these pictures, I uh, can't imagine how much there is in the, in the entire crater. And there's not only just the, uh, you know, the little uh, skyscrapers that when you kind of look at them from a distance, they almost look like a comb or something like that, you know, with the teeth of a comb. And then, of course, mixed in the middle are these uh, other structures that are uh, go from side to side, uh, go left to right uh, versus vertical. And there's also these other little patches around, you'll see quite a few of them, of uh, these patterns of dots. Now, we've seen similar patterns like that previously. I think the video was, uh, well, we've seen it in a few videos, but uh, uh, This Moon, These People was the name of the video. And it was uh, a lot of uh, cylindrical buildings uh, packed in close together that gave us these, uh, this pattern of these dots. I'm not convinced, though, that this is the same situation. Uh, it could be. It may be they're smaller. Uh, sometimes they look like they're built up uh, at an angle. Uh, one side being low, by the time you get to the other side, it's high. So, I don't know. But there's quite a few of these dots. Uh, you can see right there in the center, on either side of the center, left or right, uh, some patches of these dots. So, yeah, I don't have any idea what they are. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to get more resolution, you know. Uh, and that's something I wanted to say, you know, these pictures, each, each and every picture that I get uh, from the Worldwide Telescope is unique. Now, I wish I could say, well, in order to get this kind of resolution, what you have to do is this and this and this and this. And boom, you got it. And it would be so much easier. I could pull up any picture and just have these uh, steps that I would take uh, on a regular basis that would give me the very best resolution. But it just doesn't work that way. I have no idea why. This is part of the problem of being uh, such an amateur. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't understand. Now, even in this uh, picture here that... Uh, that we're looking at not just this one but this area you know there was an area up above this that had a concentric line going through it and uh, and so 
I started working on that picture and it was uh, very interesting. Um, got some great close-ups. In fact, I think I'll, I'll make my next video will be a short one just on this uh, concentric line. But it looks completely different than this area here, which was uh, down below the concentric line. So why they're so different, I don't know. And even from the same picture, uh, so we'll have to see. I need to uh, continue to work on that. But, you know, really, the at the end of the day, with, since each picture is a uh, unique picture unto itself, uh, for me, it comes down to an, an awful lot of, uh, of uh, trying, you know, uh, just to see what works. Um, in and out, in and out. This works, no. We'll go on to something else. Try this. Uh, so, anyway, uh, yeah, it just, it's nothing is automatic when it comes to bringing out these pictures. Some areas are brighter than others, some areas are darker than others. Uh, and that's important because we are simply talking about shades, right? And this grayscale is so difficult to bring out, I'm going to say three shades, light, medium, and dark, okay? And they're all important, but when you make your adjustments, say for instance with contrast, um, well, the dark gets really dark and the medium gray, maybe not so much, and then sometimes the, uh, uh, the light areas brighten up. It's, it's so difficult to... Uh, separate these colors to try and get um, something that we can see that makes sense. So it, it does amount to a lot of work. And uh, but I'm I you know all the pictures. I don't care if it's this or Mars or whatever. Particularly in black and white, it requires a lot of uh, a lot of trial and error. A lot of it. <clears throat> so. That's why I suppose I hearken back to the old color pictures, uh, particularly the Gigapans. They were so clear and very colorful and, you know, uh, did not require much of anything other than to uh, blow them up and, uh, you know, zoom in. And, uh, and, and that's about it. Sometimes the, uh, the color that is too much, it'll got to turn down the saturation a little bit, but, uh, other than that, you know, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, these, however, are something completely different. And, you know, we're zoomed in such a long ways. This is an interesting uh, construction in the middle of this picture here. Kind of a square area. Yeah. And that's all I can do, you know. I just kind of drift around and try and find uh, areas in the middle of this ocean of you know everything being the same and try and find something a little bit different to look at because it you know it does get a little boring right if it's the same thing over and over and over and over it does get boring uh, and uh, so but that's kind of a, a good thing it's it motivated me to uh, work harder to try and find unique areas um, and there's not that many of them, you know, so far. We've seen a couple fairly unique areas, but there's, uh, you know, and by unique, you know, slightly different. <laughs> not all that unique. Uh, but once again, you know, we've got so many structures all packed in there just in this tiny area. Uh, it's just, uh, well, I'll say it again, you know, I hate to sound like a broken record, but, uh, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. It's too hard to believe. Um, you know, how do you go from thinking the moon is uh, deserted and, uh, you know, smooth regolith as far as the eye can see to uh, saturated with buildings as far as the eye can see. I mean, that's quite a quite a leap, you know. Uh, it's one thing if you find a single building or something like that, but 
I don't know, man. I don't know. And all this talk about going back to the moon and, you know, building on the moon and everything. Uh, you know, how do you do that? I just don't understand, you know. I, I really, I think it's disinformation is what it is. Um, that we're going to go back to the moon and we're going to, you know, build there. It's all part of whatever it is they're stalling for, in my opinion. My humble opinion. Um, I hope that whatever they're stalling for is, is a good thing, not a bad thing, you know. Uh, I wonder, you know, if uh, ourselves or other species are able to travel in time to go to the future, see what's there. Um, maybe they, somebody knows, obviously somebody knows something that we don't, right? So uh, they're stalling. I don't know why. And so there's still this constant disinformation and the disinformation started a long time ago with our education on what's in the solar system everybody on the surface of the planet knows pretty much the same thing about the solar system we all know almost verbatim everything that 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 we need to know what's in the solar system and uh, that's when the disinformation started right there thanks for watching everyone